through until the 2nd of January, IG Vault are doing a giveaway for a Nintendo Switch and a bunch of gift cards. All you have to do is click the link in the description or use code HABER on their website. How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Team of the Year, breaking it down, giving you guys some dates, talking about the new SBCs coming for Team of the Year, and a whole lot more. So make sure you watch the video till the end and drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. Team of the Year is my favourite time of FIFA. It's a time where a ton of packs are opened, a ton of players are packed, and the brand new blue cards are in the game. And I'm very excited for FIFA 19 Team of the Year. And the reason is, is because I think this year will be the first year in a long time where we don't have very similar players in all the different Team of the Year spots. I'm hoping for like an Mbappe for a Varane. Uh, I'm hoping for a 99 rated Modric as he did win the Ballon d'Or, or should I say the best award. Uh, that would be absolutely fantastic if we did get those cards it's gonna be interesting to see how ea do it and what ea do this year uh, i can't imagine it'll be too different to last year because honestly like every promo this year has been exactly the same as fifa 18 it seems they're using the exact same code and it just seems super lazy in my opinion maybe i'm wrong and maybe i'm out of order for saying that but that's just my opinion and the way i see it right now let me know down below if you agree or disagree anywho let's the chit chat more of the getting into it let's get straight into the team of the year stuff Let's talk about the first thing now and the date. Team of the Year drops on January, around January 15th. So this year in 2018, FIFA 18 Team of the Year was dropped January 15th. They usually drop uh, attackers, midfielders, then defenders, then the full team of the year. So it's between usually January 15th and January 22nd, or that's where it was last year. Uh, if we look at dates for this year, we can go down in the calendar and go to, uh, oh, how do I go down here? January of 2019. My guess is that it will start on Monday the 14th of January and end on Monday the 21st of January, 6 p.m until 6 p.m that is my prediction and i think i'm pretty much correct as well because that's what they usually do. they usually go monday to monday uh, i'm not entirely sure why but that's just the way they've done it so uh i think we'll see the exact same thing uh and as you see we've got bateson's pack opening here he did a load of packs for team the 130k fifa points ggs to him for spending so much on the game now, what can we expect? So last year, what we actually got from Team of the Year, on Monday, we got the attackers and we had lightning rounds all night. And then on Tuesday, we had a set amount of packs being released. So I think on Tuesday, at 6 p.m., we had 10 50Ks. At 7 p.m., we had 10 100Ks. And at 8 p.m., we had 10 125Ks, I believe. I believe that's how it works. And at 6 p.m., we also get SBCs. Now, what SBCs can we expect, you might be asking? Well, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool, actually. I've got a video from Nick here, actually, to uh, to show you guys what we can expect. And if I put it in theater mode, you guys can see uh, everything a lot easier. So, in terms of what SBCs we can expect, last year we got the 81 plus double guarantee, the SBC you're seeing in front of your screen right now. And we also got league-specific 25k premium player packs my favorite SBCs. They did some cheap daily SBCs as well, where you could get maybe a 35k, 25k prime gold place pack, st stuff like that. You know, they do daily SBCs that require certain uh, leagues, nations, or teams. Uh, I believe last year they actually themed it around the players that were in the team of the year. So for example, uh, if uh, Modric got team of the year, they do like a Croatian theme for one of the daily SBCs uh, where you'd need maybe a full Croatian team, 78 rated. They give you like a 35k pack for it. Kept people on the toes and kept the market flowing really well. And I actually really liked how they did it. So I'm assuming this year we'll also get daily SBCs just like that, as well as the packs and stuff on the Tuesday, the Thursday and the Saturday. That's what they tend to do. They release it the next day. So they don't actually give us all the SBCs on the day. So they want us to open all the packs. Uh, and then the next day they so up all the coins from the packs by releasing all the SBCs. I'm assuming this year as well, given what we have with Footmus, we'll get maybe five more or six more prime icons. Uh, we'll probably get the likes of, I'm, my prediction would be prime Vieira, uh, prime Cruyff, and then maybe like a prime Nedved uh, and, and a few other prime cards that aren't as good. So we'll get two of the better ones. Maybe We'll maybe get like a goalkeeper in there as well. Um, that's my prediction. And the reason I say that is because January is where we start to end FIFA. Like, we're in the first half of FIFA at the minute. January marks the second half of FIFA and the ending half of FIFA. So EA start to release the better prime icons then so that we can get, you know, cheaper prime icons via SBCs and we actually get to use them later on in the year so it doesn't make people stop playing because there's so many good cards, if that makes sense. So... That is my prediction in terms of SBCs. Uh, I assume we will get the 81 plus or the 82 plus guarantee um, as well as all the other packs. We also last year got a team of the week SBC. And in fact, I have a video here from a YouTuber named uh, Kiels or Kajels. I don't know what I've just done. 
I have no idea what I just did, but we have a, a video here from uh, Kjells, I think his name is, Kjells, uh, and he shows actually that we got 81 plus two rare gold player packs, uh, and we got a bunch of them. Now, I also have another one from... This video is actually my video from last year, and not a whole lot of people watched it. Only 7.6 thousand views, which obviously is a lot of views. It's 7,600 people, but it didn't actually get as many views as obviously the videos get nowadays. And this was pretty crazy. So I opened up 10 81 plus packs. I was streaming this, by the way. Um, and as you can see, they went pretty well for me, as you can tell by the title. Uh, in fact, they went so well for me, we actually get a team of the year. I freaked out. We got Team of the Year Ramos. That card looks incredible, by the way. If we get that card this year, I will love it just as much as I did last year. It was my favorite card last year. Hopefully, we get it this year. So, to wrap it up, SBC-wise, the format we'll get, we will get 81 or 82 plus guarantee easily. We will 100% get those. I, I don't dispute it. We'll also get league-specific Premier League, uh, sorry, league-specific premium upgrades. That is a uh, almost guarantee, you know, it's, it's, it's hopefully slash maybe, depending on how stingy EA are feeling. We did get them last year based on the leagues that we had the team of the years from. Uh, so I'm assuming that this year we'll probably get a League One, uh, a La Liga and a Premier League one, I'm guessing. Uh, as I'm assuming, that's where most players are going to be from. We might get a Serie A one, depending on how many uh, Serie A players we get. And I'm assuming we'll also get uh, the 81 plus Team of the Week guarantee, which was, um, I, I think it was on this video here. I'll show you guys real quick uh, what, in fact, that we got. So, as you can see here, uh, we had both Team of the Week 18 players, but we also had an 81 plus guaranteed Team of the Week, which was from any Team of the Week, and it was a tradable one as well. Um, so, you know, we'll get both of those, I'm guessing, this year. Now, the most important thing I want to talk to you guys about is the team of the year voting because I think this really needs to change. Now, this is a video from Matt HD Gamer. Uh, if you guys want to check out all the videos, one's from Matt HD Gamer, one is from uh, Kiel's, one is from Bateson, uh, one is from myself, and then one is from Nick28T as well. Uh, if you guys want to go check all of those out, I highly recommend you guys do. Now, this video is from Matt HD Gamer. Now, every, I think it was either Notable Game Changer or every single Game Changer last year received a cool package from EA. Now, they did have to throw up the Game Changer logo and everything, so it was like a Game Changer themed thing. Uh, they, they got a cool gift package from EA, which gave them every single Team of the Year card as a small metal cutout, as you can see down here, which actually looked really, really dope. And what they did was they actually made their own Team of the Year. They... they, they uh, voted for the team of the year and the, the team of the year vote that got the most votes actually became the real team of the year in FIFA. Now, I believe EA also had some voting on the website as well. Um, but the way that EA did it was they actually did voting and they did uh, the game changer vote plus some of the voting on the website as well. So I thought that was pretty cool and I'm assuming we'll get the exact same this year. Now, if we do, I am probably going to say in terms of the team of the year, we're going to get if EA do it majority voting, because EA signed like a hundred new FIFA game changers this year, can't see them doing and sending out a package to over a hundred game changers like they did last year. I'm assuming it will be all website based. This is my prediction slash assumption. Uh, and if they do, I'm guessing we're going to get people like Team of the Year Mbappe, who deserves it, yes. Uh, but he he might push out players like maybe uh, a Messi or a Griezmann. I'm assuming we'll get players like Varane. Um, wouldn't surprise me if we've got a team of the year Van Dyke as well. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Uh, I'm, you know, we'll obviously get like a team of the year Kante, team of the year Modric, 100% because he got the best award. Uh, probably team of the year De Bruyne in there. Maybe even a team of the year Pogba if it's based on uh, rating. Sorry, rating. Uh, voting because people will vote for the most OP meta players that they want to see. Which don't get me wrong. I, I like that. I like that a lot. I don't think we'll get a team of the year this year that is necessarily the most deserved team of the year. Obviously, the players will all be shortlisted, but last year, Meza Ozil got shortlisted. So, you know, the shortlisting isn't really that accurate slash great. So, I'm assuming this year we'll get a meta team of the year as opposed to a deserved team of the year. I'm excited for it. It's going to be nice to have something new. It's going to be switched up, and I'm excited for that. Uh, and I hope you guys are too. Too. Look how young I look, by the way. And I mean, I don't have much of a beard. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a go. I look so young there. That's actually crazy how much difference a year makes. Uh, anyway, uh, that is it for the team of the year video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully it's given you guys a bit more excitement. In terms of like market crashes and stuff like that, usually the market crashes a little bit before team of the year. Uh, it does with every big promo. Uh, during team of the year, we'll see a huge crash of gold cards, whether they be high or low rated, they just will crash unless they're in team of the year. For example, we'll see someone like Ronaldo will probably go up because they'll be in team of the year. However, uh, you know, a player like maybe... 
uh, Noi will probably go down because he won't be in team of the year. So players like that, you know, they'll fluctuate in price and that is like the best sort of uh, idea I can give you guys on how things are going to work, etc. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for the support recently. We are so very close. We're only 148 subs 138 subscribers away from 68,000. I'm really hoping to hit that by Christmas. Two days. Hopefully we can. We're gaining like anywhere from 50 to 150 subs a day at the minute, which is absolutely mental. So I'm grateful for that support. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I really am. So hopefully we can smash it. I'm really grateful anyway for all the support. Thank you all for everything you guys have done for me this year. This year's been mental. This year's been absolutely crazy. We start this year with like, I think we had like 17 or 18,000 subscribers and we're on nearly 68,000. So that's absolutely crazy. So thank you all for that. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you lads later.